Hello Walking Dead fanatics, just giving you a quick glimpse of a little tour that we just took in Woodbury. Right, right here is where the entrance to the town was, there used to be a wall there, and well, let's take a look at the guide. No problem. So the gate to Woodbury was back here, um, right? The that gate Now that's what the wall looked like on the other side, looking into the town. You can see now where the street is all open and no wall is there. Inside the cafe, you see the original Woodbury sign. Now we took the tour in Sonoya. It's a two hour tour and it's $20. You get to walk for two hours throughout the town and learn about the different spots where they shot different takes. And so when they opened the door, they would have a green screen so that it looked like there was something going on Sorry. behind it, you know? You know, it was, <laughs> anyway. Um, but so that was the end you know, lodge. And they used this for the filming. There was, this is where um, Daryl and Rick and, and the gang ducked in when they were, they came to try to rescue Glenn and Maggie. Mm -hmm. So they ducked in here. And this is where you, um, you know, so they duck in and then there's a guard, uh, a Woodbury guard outside saying, I can see you in there, you know, and then they wind up coming out there. Um, <laughs> but it was, uh, here we go. There's Daryl. He's inside that Masonic Lodge. And when he gets the door broken down, talking about it being inside mm -hmm. the lodge. Yeah, there you go. So he's peeking out the window of the lodge here. You'll notice here on the side, they've got a whole bunch of canned goods, right? The idea is that the people of Woodbury were growing food mm -hmm. in the median. You see that median mm -hmm. right. right there? They were growing food there. They had solar panels there and everything. And so presumably we want they want us to think that they're canning that stuff. So you can see the tour is pretty in depth. You go to different locations throughout the town. You get to learn about all the different little scenes outside from all the different buildings that are being shot out in Sonoya. They wanted to film inside a little while. This is where um, our, our, our crew got in. They were they had grabbed up um, Maggie and Glenn, and they so what they had to do here was in Noonan. The fighting arena is half an hour away. So yeah. Now seasons three, four, and now five are all being shot within a four or five block radius here in Sonoya, which is located in Georgia. This is new, actually. This Waking Dead Cafe, and they have um, Starbucks coffee down there. Mm -hmm. Shoot now from behind that wall. So um, they were using this alcove for cover when they were trying to get out of Woodbury. You got it. Now, what's great about taking the tour is that you get to see all the little shops, restaurants, and stores that um, you know the cast and crew have been using during the course of their shooting at the location. And it's a beautiful little town. So I do recommend you check it out, uh, shop around, and get to see all the little quaint little areas. They have like 40 historic buildings in this small town of uh, Sonoya. You also get to learn about the studios and what they're doing in the towns of Sonoya and all the new studios that are popping up around Atlanta. Um, this, is, this is another example of how much trash they screw around when they're trying to make it look like, you know. Now here we're gonna take a look at the warehouse which was used in multiple parts of the show. Uh, one of the locations where you're gonna see the lavatory, you're also gonna see where they held uh, two of the characters prisoned, in prison, and also where one of the main characters Andy, died. So they used this for a number of different purposes. This is a really interesting building. It looks so different right now than it did very recently. Um, you see that the old brick part? Mm -hmm. They used to have an entire kind of a shell around this place. It was cinder block and it looked terrible up until just a few days ago. And then they now, literally, walking distance from the town of Woodbury is Alexandria. And here's a satellite type photo 
probably using a drone, and we get to see the inside. Unfortunately, during the tour, we are not permitted to go inside this locked set, but you can take a quick peek of what it looks like, at least from the outside. Now from the inside of the set, you can see the top of the steeple, so you can see that that's just a fake church that's unfinished. Now this is the back of Alexandria, and you can see the private homes are literally right. Now the house on the right was used during a major scene where you know Rick sleeps under a bed hiding from some gang members. And then if you zoom in close enough, you'll see that there's trespassers trying to get a peek of the sets. Look, they're trying to get onto the ground and look under, it's kind of funny. Now here's another look of that house where our friends had run out after a gang member was killed. The door walker got my shoe but didn't get me remember oh, yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. um and so this house they obviously they had to get inside of this house in order to uh in order to do the filming but it was convenient because there had been a renter in this house and the renter was moving out anyway so the place was vacant when they decided to do the filming the and then when they were done filming then they put it on the lady they can see alexandria some of the interesting things about Alexandria is that you still have six residents still living inside of that small area and they actually get compensated for living there because they have to deal with the sets, the wall, and so on. So that's a quick glimpse. Take the tour. It's a great tour. You're going to love it if you're a big fan.